we go. Good morning. We changed things a little. Oh, Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. I wanna let you know how comfortable I am with you. I am so comfortable on this camera that I forgot to check to see if my hair looks at all like, you know, a human. As a guy my age, I'm happy to have as much hair as I do. I just wish it would cooperate every now and then. That'd be, you know, interesting, fun. Anyway, got my coffee. Hope you do too. Today is Tuesday. I didn't do any writing yesterday. And this is bad because I haven't written in a week and now it's getting to that point where I gotta write later and I'm thinking, can I still write? Is that something I still do? It's, it's been a million years. I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, I got my coffee, I've got my, my cream, my sugar, and yes, my Baileys. Mm. And yes, it's really hot. I mentioned my Baileys because I mentioned this yesterday and um, what I forgot to mention uh, was that my wife and I have recently rediscovered alcohol. There's a, there's a period between your, well, there was a period between my actual drinking days, we'll talk about that another time, and, and now, there was this gap, this break that we took from alcohol for a few years, and and it was nice. It was it was nice being healthy, non-drunks. But then we got drunk, and uh, that was nice too. And see, now there's a difference between being a, 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 a drunk when you're young and when you're older. And I'll, I'll tell you what that is. The difference is in application. For instance. I have my booze and my coffee. Mm. Which is still way too hot. But what Vicky and I like, lach for the I I stumble over words um, every three sentences. What Vicky and I like to do is we'll take a little, like last night, for instance, we had Chambord, and we put a little in a glass, and 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 we take that glass and and we put a, put some rocks into it. Something about holding a glass with rocks. It's nice and cold, ready to be, ready to be drank. The only problem is I only have two of these glasses, so I can't actually show you the one with the booze in it. That was from last night. But, um, I totally just spaced. Everything went. So there you go. Um, I, I only um, obsessed about yesterday's uh, program show what what shall we call this thing yesterday's to be honest uh, for most of the day and into the night Vicky actually <laughs> Vicky and I actually watched it on our TV uh, I, before you start thinking it's because I'm such an egotistical maniac uh, I I watched well first of all I filmed yesterday and then, and then I watched it once as I was editing and then I watched it again just to, you know, check it before I put it on YouTube. And then Vicky wanted to watch it last night. I've seen enough of that video. Uh, but uh, she said it was fine. She, she liked it. Um, a lot of people did. What's wrong with you? Uh, but it's, it, it's nice to uh, spend a little time with you and, and, and keep saying the word and. Uh, what else can I tell you? Well, we're in the middle of a uh, coronavirus. I say a coronavirus because sadly there's more than one. Ours has the cute little name COVID-19 because it is yet of drinking age, but it's an adult, you could do her. So um, Vicky and I have been really good about uh, keeping our social distance, about isolating ourselves. Uh, we, um, I can hear her, she's on the phone upstairs. 
you may hear her too. I don't know. Um, but uh, we we lock things down pretty quick, and we've kept to our home. And uh, I got to tell you, my dream of being locked in a house with my wife is coming true. And uh, you know how that works out, right? Eventually it becomes a nightmare. Uh, but she travels a lot, so I don't get to see her that much. So we spent Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and yesterday just doing nothing. Completely just hanging out, being together. God, I love that woman. Um, and yeah, I didn't work. I didn't get to any work. It was terrible. I did the video yesterday, went upstairs to work, heard her, and I thought, I'm not going to work. You only have so long, you know? And uh, that, that applies to writing. I always think I, I only have so long to write my books and I always want to write another book and I always have plans for other books. And so to cut to the chase, I will die before I write all the books I want to write. There's just no way around that. Uh, so I'm trying, now that I'm getting, you know, <clears throat> so close to death, uh, I'm trying to write all of the books that I really want to and not just the books that I think uh, are going to uh, sell. Uh, because that was, I mean, my 30s and my 40s. Uh, pretty much those 20 years, I spent thinking, well, this is what will sell, I'll write, or, or this, this is what, this is, no, 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 this is what they want. No, no, wait, wait. One book after another. Just trying to chase the elusive audience. And there were some books that, I mean, they're not my favorites. They're not, tell you what. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I was gonna bring you a book and say, this one's not my favorite, but then that wouldn't be very nice, would it? Um, I don't have any books out there that I hate. I hold all those back for my own self-confidence. Um, I, I have this idea that I will print them and read them and critique them for you and we could all have a nice laugh at my expense. Well, not mine, but certainly some guy, you know, 20, 30 years ago, he worked really hard. He got me to where I am now, so I can't be too angry with him. And um, that's where we come to the, the, well, wait, hold on. I was gonna say that's where we come to the end of our COVID-19 discussion, but I gotta tell you, we went to the grocery store yesterday Vicky's been trying to keep me at home because I have high blood pressure and a history of uh, lung infections. I've, I've had uh, walking pneumonia, single pneumonia, double pneumonia, bronchitis. I died three times, uh, but I'm fine. I'm good. Um, but Vicky thinks that my risk is a little higher, so she likes to keep me at home. But she let me out yesterday. Uh, she let me out into the world to go to the grocery store where there was some food. No toilet paper still, but some food. We're really gonna need that toilet paper though. Anyway, um, it was nice. It was nice walking. I, I love any, t any place that I'm with Vic. I just love it. We have, a, we have a great time. It's very strange to find somebody who is game, to, who is down uh, for all of your shenanigans. There was a time Vicky and I were in a cost plus. This was towards the beginning of our relationship. We're in a cost plus, right? World market. If you don't have them where you're at, they're pretty nice. You should go to one. Um, anyway, we were at one. We were walking through the uh, wine section and we're at opposite ends of this long aisle. And keeping in mind that I'm a, a nut with a, with a past in theater, Sadly, some of it musical theater. Um, I I started dancing at a certain point to the to the god awful music that was playing above us, whatever it was. But the most amazing thing was that she, on the other end of this long aisle, started matching my steps that I was improvising and she was improvising. We were just both on the same page. And that's how our that's how our marriage has been. Uh, it's it's so weird that when we do fight, it's hard not to just want to get back to where we were, because this whole thing, 
to be honest. This whole thing is going to be, I love my wife so much, I just want to tell you. Uh, so we're going to try and get away from that. Just bip, 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 bip. Okay. Uh, today I've set up with a little bit more light. I've brought things down so we're a little closer and you can see all of my flaws. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm putting this camera way over on the other side of the room. And there's 10 minutes. Alexa, stop. So I got to tell you, I, uh, I've been, I've been kind of dreading doing this this morning. Uh, I have this really bad habit of finding things that I want to do, that I love to do, that I can't wait to do. And then I do them and I think, are you kidding? I've got to do this every day, every day. I don't want to do this every day. I've got things to do. Sleeping in, playing video games, the important things. Uh, but see, I dread, I dreaded this all morning. I thought, I'm not gonna, I, what will I have to talk about? Uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I want everything to be perfect. Um, but one of the, <clears throat> there, I've had, I, blah, blah, blah. I talk so well. I have a few goals with this thing, and uh, one of them is I don't want to write anything down. Because everything I, everything in my life is uh, scripted. I, I'm a writer. I, I write everything. Uh, but in this case, I wanted to just not. I didn't want to be the words that were so well written and put together. Uh, because sadly, that there's a there's a huge divide between that guy and me. Uh, and I thought, you know. Man, this isn't going anywhere, is it? Uh, the other thing, the other, the other goal I have is not to cut too often, not to edit too much, not to, again, try and artificially make myself look like I am so on top of things. Right now, who cares who's on top of things? You don't be on top of things. Be, you don't want to be all the way beneath them, but you can, you know, sink down just a little bit, just to where you're comfortable. Yeah, things get away from you, you know? Things are hard. Shit is tough. But if, you, if, if you're always trying to make things perfect, if you're always trying to be on top of things, that's gonna be your job. You don't want that job, that's a terrible job. That's the job of the guy who's always pissing off everybody else. <laughs> you don't want that job. So, you know, Find those moments. Put some Baileys in your coffee. Okay, well, maybe it's not good for you. I have a friend who is watching this. By the way, just a couple things to a couple friends. Um, my friend Cynthia, uh, who is the one of the lo most lovely uh, individuals on the planet, uh, she she said that that this all looked so nice. And my wife hates hates me showing the inside of her house. And this is kind of like my own dumpy corner. Uh, she's allowed me to kind of dump it up a little bit, which is great. The dogs love sitting here, and so do I. We're, actually, it's kind of the dog's corner for her. Um, but yeah, she, she doesn't think it's that lovely. Uh, the other thing, the, the other person I was thinking about was my, my dear friend, Tim, who I will talk about at length on other episodes, and now he's really nervous. But uh, he should not be adding Bailey's to his coffee, and he knows that. He probably has Bailey's flavored creamer and maybe some Adderall. Anyway, uh, you take care of yourself today. It's going to be a tough day. It's, you know, it's Tuesday. It's almost Wednesday, for God's sake. Uh, but I'll be back tomorrow, and who knows, you know, maybe we'll have a nice uh, time then. I just, I get to the end of these, and I think, Ken, what the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my dog for a walk a little later. I'm gonna take you with us uh, real soon. I just I felt like I wanted to get this area locked down a little bit. I wanted to get this to where I was uh, somewhat okay with it. So uh, I've got uh, I got a, a glass with rocks. Who knows where this will take me? But until next time. And there you have it. You've just survived another Ken LaSalle video. For more information about new releases, projects in the works, or even stuff from the archives, head on down to KenLaSalle.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and all around social media. Just as long as it's called Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for your support, as always. Be sure to subscribe to this channel 
and I'll be back soon with more nonsense.